In Garimara Ward, Isiolo County, roads and houses lie submerged in flood water. Their owners, numbering over 1,000 families, forced to seek shelter elsewhere. The displaced families have pitched tent at Ngaramara Boys Secondary School, which sits on slightly higher ground. The county government has provided food and non-food items such as mats and blankets to help them brave the cold at night. But the residents are calling for stronger interventions as the food may soon run out. The residents also want the national and county governments to build reservoirs for the rainwater to prevent destruction in the future. Garemara Ward MCA Peter Losu has asked non-governmental organizations to join hands with the county government to provide relief to those affected. He has also appealed to the national government to disburse emergency funds to the counties to enable them to effectively address the plight of displaced persons. This comes days after Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa urged counties to use their emergency funds or reallocate money within their budgets as the national government would not disburse any funds for the El Nino floods. Tunomba Deputy President, kama hii pesa hiko, patiana kwa counties kama ujapeana. Ili watu yetu waweza kushukulika because watu yetu wanaumia kama county government nataka kuwapatia hakikisho watu ya Siolo kwa jumla haswa watu wa Ngarmara watu wa Basa watu ya Sericho na watu wa Merti na watu wa huko chini ambao wameadhirika zaidi sisi kama county government tumeweza kununua chakula ya kutosha kuwapatia na pia wale wameadhirika ambao maji imezidi na kuingia kwao tunaletea pia vifaa ambazo zitawasaidia kusukuma hii maisha na nitwa non food items kama hizo blanketi nets sabuni sanitary pads all those things other areas hard hit by floods include dadacha basa isaraboru malkadaka gafasa badana and sericho all of which are now inaccessible by road muriel adhiambo k24 tv